everyone, welcome to Intimate Lens. Dr. Katz here. Today we're going to zoom on guiding the penis into the vagina during intercourse. Let's figure this thing out. Typically speaking, there is no need to guide the penis in to the vagina during intercourse. There is an inherent sense of how to go, where to go, how to do it, and most people figure it out. However, it also depends. If the male is a bit nervous, maybe he's new, as in a virgin, hasn't had a lot of sexual experiences, is not quite sure. Some men don't really know the genitals of the females, and they don't quite know what's where and therefore they do not want to poke in the wrong direction, so they may say, sure, guide me in. Some women who are a bit nervous say they uh, had penetrative problems such as vaginismus, or they had painful intercourse for various reasons, or they have the surgery, or radiation, or they're in menopause, uh, different situations that makes the woman a little more hesitant, she may, uh, she may opt to guiding the penis in so there won't be any unnecessary poking around. Going back to males, there are some males who love to be guided in. It just adds to their sexual arousal. Some couples, some men, and some women like to guide all the time. Some like to guide in certain positions. Some guide with some partners, but not with other partners. So there is a wide mix and match out there. There is nothing right or wrong about guiding the penis in, as long as it is done fast, quick, as a matter of fact, and not making it into a medical fiasco that will totally derail intercourse into a crisis. Another situation with a male that may cause for some guidance adjustment is if he has Peyronie's disease. It is a condition whereby the penis has an elasticity issue. It's a collagen issue. It is not straight out when it is erect. It is bent, bent down or bent up. Sideway deviations of the penis of no concern. But if the penis is not straight, the penis is sort of crooked bent. Sometimes they call it a broken penis. It's not really broken, but it's just bent. If it's bent down or bent up, depends where the restriction is. If it's below the underside of the penis, it's going to be bent down. If it's at the top part, it's going to be bent up. This will call for a bit of an adjustment as well, because the penis cannot just go in there. It has to adjust. The woman may have to adjust her angle. The male have to adjust his angle, the whole body angle, to make sure that the bent penis can fit in. With that, I would like to highlight that just because you would like the female to accommodate a penis with Peyronie's angle, with this bent, does not mean to say that they always can fit. Sometimes the bend is not comfortable enough to accommodate in the vagina. And we really would like to discourage women from forcing themselves to do that. It has to fit comfortably with some adjustments but you should not be subjecting yourself to vaginal damage and irritation. Please seek medical help if this is the situation. If you're a demand with Peyroni, please speak to your doctor, seek resources, try and find out if you could be helped in any way, but it is not the responsibility of the female to accommodate a penis that just does not fit right. Please, ladies, take notice. Sometimes guiding the penis will be because of body size differential and there has to be some adjustments and accommodations. 
and that's okay as well. So the most important part is not whether the penis needs to be guided, but whether what is necessary for comfortable, enjoyable, obviously consensual, intercourse. Sexual engagement has to be simple. Sexual engagement has to be mutually consented to. Sexual engagement has to be flowing, just like nature created it. Small modifications, such as guidance, are okay, but please take notice if it turns into something bigger than that. You may want to seek sexual counseling or speak with your doctor and figure out why you cannot just do it simply as everybody else in the universe does it. Not quite. Not everybody does. Some people do have issues. But the perception is that nobody suffers like I do when people have problems because people don't talk about such problems. But it's very common out there to have difficulties, so please seek help if you need. And again, I cannot emphasize this enough. Ladies, let's remember, the vagina is a hostess, the penis is a visitor. The vagina is the one who allows the visit, who determines how long the visit lasts, and who makes the call when the visit is over. So please, ladies, Protect your vagina, protect your spirit, and protect your sexual health. Make sure you make the call when it's necessary. Hopefully that shed a light on a topic that's often happening, but very little spoken about. Don't be shy. Speak up. Seek resources. Please share, like, subscribe. Let us know if you have any questions, and we'll see you next time.